Hello friends. Welcome to the tutorial on how to make a dynamic block for automatic elevation level. Here, we just need to copy this dynamic block with base point by Ctrl plus Shift plus C. And go on pasting on the locations wherever we need to show the levels. Let's see how it works, let's copy this block. And let's paste around here. we can see it's not matching with the side level scale. That's because, this block requires some initial inputs or edits to match on any new sections or profile levels. So, first of all let's paste our block on this baseline. Here we can see some steps to follow. First instructions tells us to get the ID of this baseline. So ID Click on this line. And as instructed, select and copy this Y coordinate from here. Then double click on this block, paste, or replace the copied Y coordinate value with the baseline Y value. Then click on this RF and replace its value with the level of baseline shown here. It's 2025. Now the block is ready to be used for this profile. Let's copy this block with base point by Ctrl plus Shift plus C. And start pasting. We can see, it's working. So we can go on pasting this block wherever necessary. This profile looks short, let's try for another one. Let's clear previous blocks. Now, first of all let's paste our block on this line. Copy the Y coordinate of this line with ID command. Double click on the block. Select this baseline Y. Select this value and replace it with Ctrl plus V. Again click on this RF and replace its value with the level of baseline shown here. It's 1220 here. And click OK. Then we have type or E for reason. Now let's copy this block with base point by Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Let's paste it here to check. It works. Now we can go on pasting throughout this profile wherever required. Well, you can just download it from the link provided below. Or let's start the tutorial for making this block. This block basically will contains three attribute texts and a level mark sign like this. We can draw as as per necessary. Now we will add the attribute text, type A, T, T, enter. We will not show this text while using block, so we will set the mode to invisible and locked position. In attribute tag, type datum. Prompt box empty. At default type baseline level. Here 1220. At justification, let's make middle center. Click OK. Put this text above this triangle. We can change the size from this properties. Let's make it 0 0.5. Looks big. Let's make it 0 0.25. Looks good. Again, repeat the same process, add another attribute text, type A, T, T, enter. We will not show this text as well, so we will set the mode to invisible and locked position. This attribute text is for Y coordinate of this baseline. So, in attribute tag, let's type data ML Y you prompt box empty. At default type 1234 for instance. Justification, let's make middle center, click OK. Put this text above this triangle. Let's change the size from this properties to 0 0.25. Now for the final attribute text, type A, T, T, enter. This is the level text we need to show on our block, so we will remove invisible checked mark. 
In attribute tag, let's type level. Prompt box empty. At default type 1234 for instance. Justification, let's make middle center, click OK. Put this text above this triangle. Let's change the size from this properties to 0.25. We can rearrange these texts. Now we have all the elements to create the block. Let's create a block, B, enter. Give a name, let's say elevation. Then click on the pick point icon and click at the center of our block. Again click on the select object icon and select all the objects required for our block like this, and enter. Now click OK. Leave these default values, just click OK. Now we have created our block. But this still needs some initial inputs. So, first let's move this block to the baseline, here. Then double click on this block. Here, we can see this level is not correct. So, let's select this value. Right click on it. Click on the insert field. Here, select this formula option. Again in this formula space, right click and click on insert field. Now, click on the object. And click on this object type option button. Click on the block we just created. Then, in the middle list click on position. We can set the unit formats this side. Check Y coordinate only. And click OK. The result shown here in highlight is the Y coordinate of our block pick point. Now click at the end of this result and add minus sign. Again, right click after minus sign and click on insert field. Again, click on the object. And click on this object type option button. Click on the block we created. Now, in the middle list click on datum ly. This will be the value we will copy from baseline y coordinate. Currently, its default value is shown here. Click OK. Now add plus sign after new text. Again, right click after plus sign and click on insert field. Again, click on the object. And click on this object type option button. Click on the block. Now, in the middle list click on datum. This will be the value that we will type same as baseline level. Here it is 1220. We can also see its preview here. Click OK. Now, we have formula for level with three fields here. We can click on this evaluate and check what is going to be the result. Click OK. We know this result is not correct. As we know we need to make an initial manual inputs. So, let's copy the Y coordinate of this line with ID command. Select this whole value. Right click and copy. Double click on the block. Select this data ML Y select this value and replace it with Ctrl plus V. Again click on this datum and replace its value with the level of baseline shown here. Here, it's already 1220. And click OK. Then we have type or E for reason. And we can see this level displayed is same as baseline level. Now let's copy this block with base point by Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Let's paste it here to check. It works. Finally we can now paste it wherever we need to show the level. And again, if we have any other profiles at some different levels. Let's create one with assumption. Let's delete all other level blocks. Leave the one at baseline. Here we can see the level show does not match with the baseline level. So, we just need to follow some initial editings. Copy the Y coordinate of this line with ID command. Select this whole value, right click and copy. Double click on the block. 
Select this data mel y select this value and replace it with control plus v. Again click on this datum and replace its value with the level of baseline shown here. Here, it's 1235. And click OK. Then we have type or E for reason. And we can see this level displayed is same as baseline level. Now let's copy this block with base point by control plus shift plus C. And we can check on some known levels. As we can see it's working as it really does, we can go on pasting wherever we need. We can change the size of block if needed, there won't be any problem. This types of dynamic blocks can save your valuable time and help in your progress. If you don't like to create your own block, just download it from the link below. And you can thank me later. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the new updates. Thanks for watching.